Hello and welcome to Tea Tuesday. For today's episode, I am drinking some very, very organic herbal tea. It's just after 9 p.m., so no caffeine tonight. I've learned my lesson the hard way a couple of times. For today's video, we are going to be doing two things. It's a little chatty, but we're going to do a seed haul from this lovely company that I'm going to get into. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. These were all purchased with my own money. And secondly, we're going to be spilling the live stream tea. This is all related to the seed haul. They are separate but related topics. Before we get into the seed haul, we're going to talk a little bit about how, we're going to talk a little bit about live streams and how they relate to my seed haul. I'm going to let you in on a little bit of a YouTube secret. Or maybe this is a secret of me. I'm not really sure. This is just a little secret. I love live streams. I love watching live streams. I love participating in live streams. I love going in the chat. I love going on live streams. I really love live streams. I have never done a live stream, but I have gone on other YouTube channels live streams. Actually only two, but I'll put a little link to them somewhere on my channel. It might be in the description, it might be in the playlist. I'll link it somewhere, the live streams I have participated in. If you think that you might want to have me on your live stream as a guest in the future, just send me a message through Instagram or you can email me and I check my email fairly often. So if that's something that you're interested in, you might want to have a guest on your channel. I might be interested in participating in that if you let me know your details. Or if you just have a live stream I and I happen to subscribe, you may see me in the chat one day because I chat on several live streams every now and then and uh, I'm always looking for new ones. And this 100% relates to my seed haul because this haul of seeds I found on a live stream. I found these seeds on a YouTuber who owns a small business in the US and is a mom and pop seed company. <laughs> and I literally found them on a live stream. So that's how it all connects together. I'm going to go and show you their YouTube channel on my computer and we're gonna check them out and then I'll show you my haul. So here we are on my computer. I wish I had better skills with my technology, but we're still, I wish I had better technology skills, but we're still working on that. This is Mary's Heirloom Seeds. So this is her YouTube channel. She also has a blog and like a blog and um, like a company website, I guess you wanna call it, slash blog, they're all connected together. So I found her channel through YouTube's suggested videos. It was on my suggested page. It was a live stream that was in progress. And I've gone on a couple of her live streams. I only call, I only chatted in one of them, I think, but she has a really cool YouTube channel and she does live streams. She also does other videos. And based on, uh, reading her about section on her YouTube page. She's just a mom and pop small business and her base, home base is in Texas, in a small town in Texas, United States. So definitely a different growing zone than where I am from, but that's okay. So the one thing that lured me into her YouTube channel and her live streams and my seed haul is a contest she is running. 
So here we are on her website, marysheirloomseeds.com, and she's doing a gardening challenge this year for people who purchase her seeds. She is doing a grow a giant watermelon challenge, and she is also doing grow a giant pumpkin challenge. Watermelon and pumpkin are by far my biggest challenges in the garden. I have, I adore growing both watermelon and pumpkins. I love watermelon to death. It's my favorite fruit. Very difficult to grow in the Pacific Northwest. I've only been successful twice in nine years. So supervisor is right behind me watching my filming and trying to put himself to sleep since it is getting a little late in the evening. So I'm so I'm participating in Mary's heirloom seed growing a giant pumpkin and growing a giant watermelon challenge. There are some small prizes she's giving out, not nothing huge, but they're basically gift cards for seeds from her company. I think the top prize is a $50 gift card for the biggest watermelon and $50 for the biggest pumpkin. And there are also smaller prizes for the most, I think it's the most funky or twisted fruit, uh, twisted watermelon or pumpkin. So if you grow some funky looking ones, there are prizes for that too. I don't expect to win anything. I have a hard time growing both pumpkin and watermelon in my climate, but I love a garden challenge. That's why I grow lemon trees. That's why I grow lime trees, things that aren't really supposed to grow here. I like to try growing all kinds of stuff. So if there's a garden challenge, I am up for it. So I could not resist ordering seeds from her company when I watched the live stream and everyone was so excited. It just got me excited and I was like, this is what we're doing this year. We are growing pumpkins and watermelons, hopefully, from Mary's heirloom seeds. So now I am going to show you what you've been waiting for, my haul from Mary's heirloom seeds. I definitely didn't just get pumpkins and watermelons. Let's take a look at what I actually got. Let's bust open this lovely package of seeds. Oh yeah, there's, there's a good amount in here. I sort of, zipper, I sort of forgot what I ordered other than watermelon and pumpkin. I don't even really remember the varieties. And I do realize that her seed company is in Texas and I live on Vancouver Island. Totally different growing zones, but I'm okay with that. I'll figure it out somehow. So we've got quite a few different seeds. They come in these little envelopes. And let's see what else we've got here. Got a little monkey who is trying to eat my envelope of my empty seed envelope. So, what does she provide? Oh, okay. We've got a little receipt here. And I think there's some information about the seed. Seed starting basics, that's cool. A uh, very detailed list of information about a majority of the fruits and vegetables on her website, so that's pretty cool. I'll definitely have to do some reading later. I'm not a huge reader, but I'll, I'm definitely gonna read this seed pamphlet. And we've got some more information here. She gave a, a gift seed package. That is super exciting. Similar to Baker Creek. Love that. Um, she basically is talking about the gift I got is a 
gift from Mary. It's a Zinnia mix. I didn't have a lot of luck with Zinnias last year, but I'm gonna give it another try. 60 seeds in here. That seems pretty awesome. She's located in Ben Wheeler, Texas, in case anyone is wondering. I have no idea where that is, but that's what it says on the package. So it is basically a uh, seed stirring tips for pollinators. So this is all about flower butterfly mix and uh, different uh, flowers for pollinators. So I'll probably read that one too. I do love flowers. And let's get into the actual seeds that I ordered. So I ordered Cherry Bell Radish. Pictures, I guess, are not, uh, there are really no pictures, but there's information, which is cool. 100 seeds in the package, awesome. Definitely beats Canadian seed companies. I have a beef with some of those companies. <laughs> Big Mac pumpkin, that is super exciting. This is an heirloom open pollinated, non-GMO, non-hybrid seed collection. And we have Dill's Atlantic Giant Pumpkin. So this is what I'm going to grow to try to win the contest. Well, I'm gonna grow both of them. Big Max Pumpkin and Dill's Atlantic Giant Pumpkin. Note that it's the Atlantic and not the Pacific. So we are dealing with the other end of the country. Hopefully I can have success in the Pacific and uh, that it won't matter that it's made for the Atlantic. We have Georgia Rattlesnake Watermelon, super excited. Any watermelon seeds excite me. Cylindrica for Formovia Beet. Uh, interesting, I wish I could show you the pictures at the same time. Maybe I can do that if I go to the website and insert a uh, photo later on, I'm not really sure. We're gonna have to play with the technology a little bit. Cylindrica Formoto Beet. What? I bought two of these. <laughs> okay. Two, 100 seeds per package. I love the quantity. Did not remember doing that. So I'm definitely going to give one of these to my dad. My dad adores beets. Maybe that's why I did this. I don't even remember anymore. But we will have a little family competition and see who can grow better beets. We're growing the same variety, so why not? Next, Chinese, cur Chinese snake curved cucumber. 25 seeds in here, not bad. That is cool. Italian white sunflower. Hopefully I can find photos. Joe pie weed, very cool. I had never heard of this plant before and I was enticed on the website. Lacy. Uh, Felicia? I don't even know. It's a flower, but uh, not really sure. I have to look at the picture again. Can't remember what it looks like. Again, 100 seeds. I am super impressed with the quantity here. By the way, I have never grown Mary's heirloom seeds. I cannot say good or bad about it because I have no experience, but if you follow along on my watermelon and pumpkin growing journey. I will provide my feedback on what I think of Mary's heirloom seeds. And uh, by the end of the year, I should have a good opinion on whether it's good, bad, ugly. I don't know whether it's amazing. We will find out. Mint leaf bee balm. Super happy to give the bees more food. Snapdragon spurred. Texas Blue Bonnet. Hoping that a flower from Texas can grow on Vancouver Island. Fingers crossed, I don't really know. Atomic Red Carrot. So that is my seed haul. I really hope I can find some pictures and insert them so it's a little more interesting for all of the viewers out there. Thank you so much for watching my Mary's Heirloom Seed Seed Haul. I am going to be posting YouTube updates of starting my pumpkins and watermelons. I'm probably going to sow them at least two different ways. I'm thinking milk jugs, 
direct sewing. I'm possibly sewing inside my house, like maybe two to three different methods, testing out what works best and taking you along for the journey. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you very soon.